Welcome back to another episode of Gas Diesel Garage, everyone. In today's episode, we're going to take care of that bad miss that this diesel has. So stay tuned. Gas Diesel Garage starts right now. see down here in this box that the number five uh, cylinder was not getting into sufficient fuel it needs to fire so therefore it starts to stumble and run like crap and all that white smoke and black smoke is accumulated so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that EPU injector pipe and uh, see what happens so stay tuned As I was saying on diesel engines the fuel system cannot have any air leaks whatsoever it's got to be sealed tight because once you get air in the system number one the truck probably won't start number two it's gonna run rough and stumble and everything else so uh, that EPU injector pipe needs to be replaced because it keeps coming loose and the flare is probably screwed up too and uh, well we'll go from there now I know that people can uh, access the EPU injector pipes without taking all this stuff off but I'm gonna take all this stuff off like the air cleaner and everything else so you can get a better view of what's going on As you can see here, we got all six pipes. One, two, three, four, and five. Five is the bad one. Let me get that look. See all the wetness? That thing's right there. So when you do these, do one at a time because if you do every single one of them, you're gonna have a hard time bleeding that thing, and believe me. But this little hand pump down here. Right there, you're going to be pushing it for a while, so do one at a time.
Now that the number six pipe is in, now it's time to bleed it. Okay, just come down here to the bleeder. Start pumping away. Ooh. Looks like we already got some coming out. At least we didn't deplete it that much. Now for number five. Our problem child here. The one that would not stay. Let's see. course that's not really any good look at all the nasty crud over there of course it's blowing fuel past the seal here it's pretty gross there well time to move on
Well, all right, now that we got all six uh, EPU injector tubes in and they're freshly bled, now it's time to start the truck up and see if it misses. Anytime you're doing dealing with the fuel, I suggest you put your foot all the way down on the accelerator when you start it up and leave it there because who knows, you might get an air pocket. Well, of course, now we got to button everything up. We got to put the uh, air box back on and the uh, big ass band clamp there and everything else. All six EPU injector tubes installed, bled, and now the fuel system is not sucking any air. Therefore, it is not missing on the engine, and I consider this one fixed. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And if you like, hit that post notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Thanks again. Peace.